Hey guys, this is the Appliance Workshop. Welcome back for episode two. My name is Andre, founder of Appliance Technical Institute of Canada. And this is Chris, president of Toronto Appliance Service and Appliance Technical Institute of Canada. Welcome everybody back again for more discussion and, and uh, hopefully learning about uh, the appliance industry. There we are. So uh, today, uh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Today we're going to talk about um, why um, why you want to join uh, actually uh, appliance uh, te- to be appliance technician. Why you want to join this trade? Mm-hmm. I had uh, some teaching um, yesterday. I was doing in school with right. the students, and mm-hmm. after the whole classes, I was actually asking all and every the person in the class, why did you join the school to become an appliance technician? That's right. So they. Yeah. They come from different different backgrounds. There's mm-hmm. uh, auto engineering mechanics. Right. There's chemists. Uh, there's a, a, a accountant. Uh, there's a person who went to school to be HVAC, but because of COVID, this is what happened. Mm-hmm. So um, they, uh, they 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 told me that they wanted to be uh, to, to train to be a technician because they wanted to make money. I said, well, that's not that's not the only reason why you want to become a technician. For example, I spoke right. to the guy. Um, who wanted to be uh, an HVAC. And I explained to him, an HVAC does only HVAC. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you are an appliance technician and know how to, uh, to do HVAC, that opens a bunch of doors for you mm-hmm. to do anything in the house that you want. So if you come to right. fix the fridge, somebody asks you to, if you, if you know how to fix the furnace, you can fix the furnace. Somebody asks you mm-hmm. how to fix it, you know how to fix air conditioner. Right. So, yes, you know how to fix it. So appliance technician is uh, more than even H- HVAC is. Because HVAC is right. limited to, residential HVAC is mainly uh, limited to uh, uh, air conditioner and, and uh, furnaces. Right, right. So two appliances, basically. And appliance uh, technician fixing all kind of different appliances, different brands. Mm-hmm. So I have uh, explained to them that my history was like this. Uh, working in a factory, uh, mixing dough for cookies. That's what, oh, I, was, right. that's what I was doing. Yeah. Okay. Or even before uh, um, I was working in a warehouse. When uh, you came to Canada, right? Pucker. Yeah, I was a yeah. pucker. I was packing trailers right. with uh, clothings. Mm-hmm. Then they would deliver to Eaton Center, to right. Viking, to Eaton Center, to uh, um, Sears and everywhere else. Mm-hmm. And then I'm thinking, what am I going to do? to be a pucker on my life. Exactly. I finished school back home. I didn't feel like to be a pucker. On you finished electrical engineering back home, yeah. come to Canada. And to be a pucker. And it was packing. overnight shift too. Yeah. And it was seven seventy five an hour. Excellent pay for me. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how it was. By anyway, 1990. Yeah. And, and, then, and uh, then I was working, uh, uh, I got this job uh, um, as an uh, appliance technician. I trained a few weeks and I loved it because right. now you are out of the building, mm-hmm. you're interacting with the customer uh, right. in their homes or wherever they are, warehouses, businesses. Yeah. You're fixing constantly new issues, new problems. So it's not the same job as packing trailer every day. That's right. That's right. right? You got yeah. the list of items that the big ones, uh, rolling table and you're supposed to count those uh, items and then put them in the trailer. Right, right. As a packer, as a packer, or working, a, you know, in a in a bakery, yeah, uh, mixing dough, same dough every day, same recipe, same That's mixer, right. and same yeah. cookies were coming out of it. <laughs> some people, some people like to do that, but certainly not us. There's no way. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so when being a, when I try to be a technician, mm-hmm. and I see the freedom of it, for sure. And it's definitely freedom. You don't have to punch the card. You yeah. don't have to be on time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wherever, yes, there's a window of appointments you have be to there keep. Be 8 a.m. to 11 yeah, a.m. Be there, yeah. so you have to be there. Yeah. But the freedom is uh, you are being on your own boss. Mm-hmm. First of all, people treat you differently because you're coming actually to fix something that they don't know. As a specialist you, almost. As a specialist because right. if you don't know, if they would if they would know what to fix it, they wouldn't call you. That's right. right? Yeah. So you feel important. And then when you get there and you set the price and you fix the mm-hmm. appliances, 
some cu- some customers are being very very uh, um, how to say it um, they they even give you tips and stuff oh, okay sometimes I see. Yeah, so yeah. for the for the good job of course right right, right. when you are good and you, they see you working hard you set the price one thing mm-hmm. and then they give you a tip in the end say okay thank you very Her much job well done exactly. appreciation of yeah. of uh, fixing my appliances because they, they, they mm-hmm. can they, they can see that right so the opportunity with uh, being a technician here is um, i mean what what uh so you came in as electrical engineer you started with appliances it was more mechanical back in the 90s but i remember you were doing uh domestic air conditioning installation like how did you just decide okay electrical engineer appliances i get it electrical mechanical let's let's install domestic air conditioning systems. Well, so Let's I, work with some Freon gas. Yeah, so How did you decide to do that? Yeah, when I learned this uh, trade at first, I only mm-hmm. trained on three appliances. Right. There were fridges. Right. There were dishwashers mm-hmm. and stoves. Very simple appliances. Nothing to do with washers, dryers, microwaves, yeah. Um, yeah. especially air conditioners, humidifiers, dehumidifiers, wall ovens, nothing like that at that time. Oh, exactly, right, right. So only time. on, what well, there were, those appliances were out there, mm-hmm. except I didn't. I wasn't trained on those. So yep. working for that one company, they, they only uh, did uh, that kind of work, and mm-hmm. that's what I could do. When somebody called me to fix his wash machine, I remember I showed up. I didn't know what to do with it. Right. Wires and all this, no idea. So I decided that we need to learn. You need to invest in yourself. You need to learn more of different appliances to become a good technician. Exactly. You can't right. know just the three of them. Yeah. I had one person coming here for interview a few years back mm-hmm. and I was so happy because the person coming was uh, was having a, at least eight years of experience in the appliance industry. I said, I'm right. so happy. I'm going to finally get the technician here. Well rounded. He's going to be working and, yeah. and finally I don't have to worry about, uh, uh, you know, not having a technician exactly. at the spot. And then he tells me he's working for um, Metro Housing in okay. Toronto. Right. Uh, only on the very simple stoves, refrigerators, and dishwashers. Right, limited. And limited. So eight years experience, and when I took him on the road for the first time just to mm-hmm. see what's going on, he had no idea what we are actually fixing. Exactly. Because the person was working only, mm-hmm. and it's eight years experience. He could say he's an excellent technician, but on right. those simple appliances. Exactly. Lack of knowledge. Yeah. Lack of knowledge. So it would take him another. Who knows? maybe a year or more or, or less to learn on, on the road exactly to learn all other yeah. appliances right? so how did you like who did you approach to teach you to work on again the central ac right was this jamaican guy i was working for how did you i forgot how did you i forgot the, the name yeah. of the company yeah the person died already oh some my goodness. years ago so a much older guy yeah he was old he was yeah. at that time he was close to 60 years old oh wow when i was 21 or two right he was 60 at that time mm-hmm. so he was actually showing me about the air conditioning commercial yeah. refrigeration mm-hmm. how to control the pressure um, thermostats for commercial refrigeration right. and stuff so he at one time he sent me to a little course it's some golf course somewhere uh, um, outside of Toronto mm-hmm. and I went there at first time I've seen this big commercial refrigerator with yeah. the thermostat control but I had no idea you know how to work right he says don't worry Chris I show you he took me there and he showed me and ever since I remembered it so right, his name it. was Jerry he was a very nice man mm-hmm. um, he, he taught me a lot of this stuff and then finally of course when I was going on myself on my own I started to pick up different appliances, right. fixing you know, older yep. and newer. And of course, the refrigeration system I learned from the beginning, from get-go, basically. Exactly. Replacing compressors, yeah. this was my thing to do from get-go. That's amazing. That's, yeah. that's, that wasn't something else. It's, uh, fridges was the one that I was always right. uh, happy and, mm-hmm. and, and comfortable to work with. Right. I think that's, what, that's the point here, is like taking the opportunity to sort of expand your knowledge, <laughs> finding someone who's willing to train you on those, and always just like investing in yourself, right? When you invest in yourself, you're being you're paying yourself dividends years later. Now that you were, you know, starting with just appliances and then branching off to compressors and sealed systems and going to domestic air conditioning systems, you're investing in yourself and that's really what this is all about, right? You can invest twenty thousand dollars in stocks, watch it grow. Yeah. But where the real money is is in you. 
is in you. It's exactly. in you. You come as appliance technicians that are at our institute. They, one of our things that we always say is, if you're coming to train with us, we're going to get you the HVAC license. We're going to give you the refrigeration certification. We're going to ensure that when you leave our training institute, you can do all of it, everything: <laughs> yep. furnaces, water heaters, central AC systems, domestic commercial appliances, everything. Yeah, so, everything. So there was a point of time. Uh, one time years ago mm. when I didn't know so much about appliances right and I was I needed some help mm -hmm. so I needed some other tech, other guys to help me to do my work yeah yeah and I was thinking what if somebody I'm gonna hire is going to be smarter than me what if he knows yeah. more than I do right how can I argue with him how can I prove him wrong if something he's, do yeah. he's done and it's not gonna be right yeah so I said I need to learn and those days, there was no internet, there was no Google, exactly. there was no uh, access to all the information you yeah. can access today. Yeah. But still, we learned, we learned. Because right. it was simpler appliances too. But we still learned, you, you pay attention and being 32 years in business, oh, for sure. I mean, um, you, can, you, can let, you can teach a horse how to bark. <laughs> I, I mean, we've noticed that it, that's actually not true. It's really hard to get someone who comes off the street and train them as an apprentice, especially in this trade. It's just there's too many. Yeah, but being so long in the business, you, you need to learn. Yeah, although, for sure. Although Absolutely. There's, there's some people that are long in the business and they very right. limited. Exactly. They don't touch, for example, seal system. Right. And that's something we try to get away from. They don't touch, for example, stoves. They're going to be only washers and dryers. Yes. That's the, there are people like that because yeah. that's how the world was before. That's true. My idea that's is true. different. To be a technician, you need yeah. to know about every appliance out there. Exactly. Small appliance, countertop mm -hmm. appliance, building appliance, uh, right. freestanding appliance. So that's the idea. So that's why the the school the school happened because of that. Exactly. We need to teach these people. We need to whoever is interested in the trade. Mm -hmm. to learn step by step fundamentals about everything exactly because that's what makes you a good yeah. technician for you sure know, you know you come to a, to a house and you want to fix a, mm -hmm. a dryer right but you only trained on a sealed system and exactly the customer asking you to fix the dryer well, I'm sorry man but I can't fix the dryer I don't know what to do with the dryer and, and I would hate to say that and, and, to, to and, be honest yeah and, and yeah. now you are uh, yeah. there so this customer like oh, I thought you know how to fix all the appliances but, right, but no, you only do a seal system. You replace the compressor. That's all you do. That's exactly. how Sears used to operate. Right. When we spoke about that in episode one, Sears. <laughs> that's the way that they did their business. Yeah. Everybody was a specialist in one category of appliances. Not all. We and need that to was... invest ourselves. We need to learn. The, exactly. Today, there's tons yep. of different materials. Yep. But don't get me and wrong. Resources. The materials sometimes maybe not good. It's true. And so, so faulty and yeah. misleading. Exactly. Material. So. Yeah. Like I have some videos I found on, on YouTube on how to fix a wash machine, for example. It's a do-it-yourself guy. If, I, oh if I show you that video, or whoever's going to watch that exactly. video, it is, uh, uh, I don't think yeah. any normal person would have even uh, think of <laughs> trying such, those such methods. Way to, the guy was to... ripping apart the dryer, <laughs> ripping, listen, it, yeah. it unscrews and comes apart. You don't have to rip anything, which is crazy. Everything is yeah. meant to be repaired. Exactly. So it's meant to be accessed. Dismantles yeah. and then built back together. So so back to the education here. Yeah. You know, um, it's, it is not for everybody. This trade well, is for true. some people that you have to like the trade. Yeah. You need to like the inter exactly. interaction. What we, say, what we say in the school is like you always go to school to learn how to learn. So I'll teach you the fundamentals of appliance servicing, HVAC and refrigeration but it's your responsibility to continue learning. You don't, once you finish, like a doctor finishes med school, that's it, they never study again. No, they continue learning, that's, lifelong that's learning. Correct. Same with appliance servicing. Yeah. You come and you learn on the appliances and technologies that we have today. But next year, the year after that, we're changing from yeah. the R134 to the R600 gas in, yeah. in refrigerators, um, newer technologies um, in stoves, Bluetooth, accessibility, stuff like that. It's your responsibility to continue learning. And that's what we've seen those who are successful working for Toronto Appliance Service. They're continuing the education. You're taking them in for special trainings. 
um, sometimes on a, on a biweekly basis on Saturdays, and it helps. Yes, right? it, yes, it does. It I, helps. I didn't have that in my exactly because right. there, there was no one to uh, to help. Everyone was fending for themselves, I think, or or the people were kind of protecting their knowledge, not to sell that knowledge to somebody else because you take you, away you as take a competitor, my customer, exactly. Something like that. So I don't know. If people understand that there's there's 10 million people living in the GTA. You're not going to service 10 million people. I, exactly. I, I promise you. If someone takes yeah. some of your knowledge, you should be happy to share your knowledge. And I'm happy to share this knowledge yeah. because I, I right. know what I, what I can do. The what pool I do. is so big. It doesn't matter how many competitors are out there. Yep. Just be better than them. Don't look at other competitors. Look at yourself. Invest in yourself. Invest in your team. Competition is very healthy. Competition is healthy. It's always healthy. That's right. You know, there's no competition. The, the yep. service wouldn't be as good as it is today. So true. So okay, true. So competition must be there. It's and true. If there's a competition, you mm-hmm. try to beat it. Um, how are you going to try to beat it? Exactly. You try to be better. That's right. Better, cheaper, yeah. more economical. Yeah. Maybe things like that. Okay? When we built our curriculum, you can remember there was, you know, a little bit trainings here and there, but there were so much gaps in those training. And so when we built our curriculum, it was always about having the most thorough training from day one till day you leave yeah. and continue to come back to take more training with us. We have we have professional development courses. We have sealed system mechanics uh, level two, right? So we have all of these courses that are available. Once you finish our training, come back and learn more. Well, the guys that finish right? the school and are working here already, exactly. they still learn. They Absolutely. still learn because it's impossible to teach everybody yeah. everything within nine months it's, it's not, just not possible. impossible it's not possible and, yeah. and the new person that's just coming to the school any school that's right it's not gonna just absorb this information it's mm-hmm. impossible you need to experience it alone on the road exactly and that's how you learn yeah i'm 32 years in business and i'm still learning absolutely every day absolutely like you said there's yeah. a new stuff coming up every year mm-hmm. with the new technology that we have to learn Exactly. We need to, uh, yeah. If you don't learn, you don't know. And yeah. Of course, we have uh, you know the new gas that's coming actually came in this year. The R six hundred. Two thousand twenty. Yes. Yeah. The lock ring technology. The lock ring. Specialty training. Yeah. I think we only do it. Manufacturers do it. You have to uh, apply to get into that training. We do the training here for individuals in the field we already. Do that in school and in yeah. field. In fact, tomorrow one of the employees uh, has to go to. To replace uh, a compressor of 600 uh, Amazing. gas. Yeah. He's asking for help, so I'm going to have to go with him and help him. Yeah. Well, um, he's been trained, if, if I'm correct, he was trained back in December on the R600, but only for a day or two. He was, but then he was. Now it's time to do it in the field. He wasn't yet, yet in the field. Exactly. To, to replace that yeah. the customer is watching. Exactly. <laughs> That's a little bit different. Right, than breathing the over your neck yeah, yeah. and watching you do your work. So, investing that. in your education is the most important part. There's no money right. in the world that can replace your knowledge. It's so true. And sometimes, listen, there is sometimes you get free training, which is great, which is worth, it's priceless. Sometimes you have to pay for the training and it's still priceless, right? Because you take that on forever and you add new services to your to your servicing uh, when you're talking to customers and yeah. doing extra work for them. It really is amazing. So now the school and, yeah. this, and the work that we have together in here. Yeah. It's, why is it so beneficial? Because right. when you go to school, mm-hmm. your future is that you can work in this business That's with right. us or we can recommend you somewhere exactly. that you can uh, yeah. work. Plus, you finish your education in school that you pay for. Right. Then you're still educating and we are maintaining that education for you until you're comfortable. Exactly. Servicing appliances. But even then, I think, you know, when you guys have your weekly meetups with the technicians daily, on Fridays. Daily. On daily now. I think it's because uh, when it used to be weekly, it was, you know, people who worked in the field for eight plus years. But now you have, you know, newer technicians. Yeah. Um, there's just so much that happens throughout the day, each day, that it's important to review on last, on yeah. yesterday's work rather than on a weekly basis. On because a daily it's, basis. it's fresh. Exactly. It's fresh and the customer doesn't wait. That's right. So it's the response comes right away. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's there so many questions that we discuss, you know, mm-hmm. individually with each technician. Exactly. Everybody hears that so they That's can right. learn out of just That's listening right. to it. Yeah. I like it. I'm happy with that. For sure. I don't have to go anymore to uh, search for uh, something I cannot even, uh, ever find. That's right. <laughs> like a it's technician true. or something like a technician. Exactly. <laughs> Right and now, here being we trained we, well. Yeah, here, we, we've got guys that we trained mm-hmm. that they went through the schooling, customer service, and stuff. So, 
it is important that you learn. And they're still mm -hmm. learning. They, they were given the, uh, um, the materials mm -hmm. or access right. that can, they can read stuff, they can uh, get ready for the jobs. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, it's all been um, it's all it's all been done there. Which is fantastic. I know. I mean, just talking about opportunities and and being like a, a well-rounded technician. I remember, um, I mean, Toronto Appliance Service was called in to go to Drake's house ah. in uh, in Toronto, and and like that was a, a crazy event. You know, when uh, you got you guys got the call um, and you realized it's a celebrity house, so they want to make sure that the guy coming out is a well-trained technician. Yeah. Um, lucky enough, I was enough. I was lucky enough to go with you uh, for a service call when we went and fixed the dishwasher. And I just remember. I mean, we're, we're in there. You've already been there before once, and the second time we came in to fix the, the dishwasher and the ice maker in the pool Obviously, area. Obviously, it feels good when you go to celebrity house. But you want to make sure that you're knowledgeable. That when they ask you a question, you understand. Well, the person who called in, yeah, um, that person required a, a senior technician for sure. Knowledge with technician because yeah. obviously you're going to fix a celebrity uh, house, uh, something, whatever, dishwasher, whatever it yeah. is, and also you're representing your company, Toronto yeah. Appliance. So service. yes, it would not be good to send somebody who's uh, a bit junior, junior, and may not have answers for the questions Everything. that they would ask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I was sent out there. Yeah, we did the job first time on the stove. That's right. And then a then big stove in the kitchen. La Cournie stove, and then the, oh yeah, the next one was the meal at dishwasher. That's right. That. Uh, Apparently, it wasn't our fault that somebody who installed it yeah. made a, um, a butcher job there. It was just a bit, I think the door was a bit heavy because they, <laughs> they put in all those extra paneling. Yeah. They looked great, but um, I remember we were there in the, in the, park, in the um, driveway just waiting to get in. And, you're just, and you were just so nonchalant because yeah. you've already been there before, it's yeah. not a big deal. You know the house, you're just standing there in front of the house and this and that. The but it was job is the job exactly but this is what distinguished yeah. this job for sure from being a pucker for example if you're packing in a <laughs> warehouse you probably won't get an opportunity like this I don't think so. to fix appliances uh, in a celebrity yeah. home so many times you go yeah. vacation somewhere some exactly. goes vacation and you go to a taxi say in rome or wherever yeah did you or oh, los angeles did you uh drove any of the celebrities like not every taxi driver would <laughs> drive, drive a celebrity. celebrity in their it's so city. true. Maybe before they were a celebrity. <laughs> right. So, yeah. for, so the same thing here, right? When yeah. you go to Drake's house, yeah. and did you ever go to fix some celebrities? Sure, we did. We yeah. went to sure. Drake's house, we went to a McDonald's, uh, Mr. Mr. Cohen, I think, uh, right. who owns, uh, who's the co-founder of McDonald's. That's right, that's so amazing. We went to his house, yeah, yeah. we went to some other celebrities also. Yeah. Um, I, I forgot this, Eugene, Right, Levy, I think the actor. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and, and when you're right. there, well, you know what you're doing. Exactly. And uh, apparently, they're getting very angry with you. If who are you, if you don't know what you. Oh, doing. if you don't know what you're doing, of if course you not. If you don't have answer yeah. for them, or uh, something you do and yep. you, and you don't uh, fix right. it in the first visit, and then you have to yeah. come back. He's yeah. busy with his life, and now exactly. he's got to spend time for you to come back again because it doesn't work. You have to go home and research some very, resources. No, it doesn't look professional. Very tough. So you want to make sure you know everything, right? So, so uh, and again, yeah. come study, you see? You have to study the exactly. job yeah. before you go out there. Just like exactly. a homework. You go to yeah. school. You need to do your homework. Right. If you don't do yeah. your homework, uh, you go to classes, there's no answers. Exactly. Okay. You need to triage before going to the service call the next day. You know, research the appliance, the, the chief complaint from the customer, yeah. whatever it may be, and come in prepared. I and that's what we liked, teach you. I never liked school. I never liked to do my homework. Never. I, right. I was always last second, last minute. Yeah. You know, but uh, still, when you, when, you, when you read something, yeah. when you sit in class, yeah. it's easy to answer. Exactly. You know, yeah. it's, it, it, uh, the teacher's asking a question, and right away. And you know the answer. You know the that's answer. It. Versus, yeah. uh, holy mackerel, where is this? Uh, was this in the homework somewhere? Exactly, <laughs> right. The same and thing I totally with, get same it. Thing with the appliances, here, right? Same I think thing. it's when you care about something, then you go ahead and, and study, right? It's how so much effort you want to put in. Well, if this is your livelihood, everything you, know, you have to invest in yourself in that yeah, point. Everything's here. There's money, yeah, here, and that's what it, that's what you're here for. Money. It's true. So it's you want to make money, mm -hmm. you need to show that you know something. Right. People is not going to pay for not being knowledgeable. Exactly. For coming to the house and then spending two, three hours calling somebody, uh, yeah. talking some yeah. some stories that doesn't associate with the appliance. Exactly. And then uh, yeah. so basically being a con artist, 
No one wants to pay right. for that uh, any money. They want exactly. to pay for knowledgeable information. Right. You explain, right. you, you mm -hmm. be logical, but you need to know that. It's true. That means you need to read, yeah. you need to study, you need to talk with a crowd of people that actually in this that's business. Right. That's what we do here. We, and we're we have creating meetings. a community, which I think I appreciate the most. Yeah, and then right. we will talk. Yeah. We'll have this uh, chat, all everybody here. The WhatsApp, sure. the group chat. Yeah, yeah definitely. The group chat. And yeah. you have questions somebody asks, and right. people put in the input. Whoever yeah. wants to read, they read. Who wants to uh, say something, they say something. That's right. And it's nice, it's good. Yeah. That makes everybody more comfortable to go out on the road. Sometimes exactly. they don't feel comfortable because it's an appliance they haven't worked on before. You know, so For it sure. makes them comfortable. But mm -hmm. when you study about it, you go into the house, you know what to say already. Right. Yeah. So in the beginning, it will be harder, and but yeah. then it comes easier and easier. That's why. That's true. Investing in yourself is very, very important. It should be the top priority. And and also, you know, taking the opportunities to do things as if, um, as a company owner, right? If you're starting out as an appliance technician, you put in your work for a couple of years, those who are opening up their own companies. <coughs> but it's important to take the opportunity to reach out to manufacturers um, after five to seven years of, of working on the, on the road, asking for a warranty contract, right? It, it takes a lot of experience to get to that point, but as a, as a company owner, I think you would agree, you have to take the opportunity to send out a proposal, ask for the contract, um, and that's how you get it. Yes, you can right. do that. Um, years ago, uh, yeah. to, I was applying to be a serious technician. Right. That was what been a, 30 years ago. A bad mistake, I think. I don't know yeah. what it would have been, but um, they asked me to write an exam. I was right. supposed to take some tests. Mm -hmm. Electrical tests, some wire diagrams. Yeah. They give it to me to see if I can read them, right. I can recognize this and that. Right. And um, I was talking to somebody. I did not. Uh, I did not pass the exam. I okay. Was, I was not hired to, to be a serious technician. Um, but I, I didn't guess speak, I didn't speak well English that time. Yeah. I didn't know because um, our the uh, wire diagram, uh, you know, those mm -hmm. uh, uh, marks are a little bit different here than in Europe. Right, it makes and sense. You take, uh, for example, Bosch dishwasher diagram, mm -hmm. and they just take a, a diagram from um, a American made dishwasher. They a use different. different symbols. Exactly. Different tactics. Yeah. Even even though they sold here in Canada. Mm -hmm. So at that time, I didn't know the difference. They were asking me questions, and right. I didn't pass. So I wasn't a technician. For Sears, at for Sears, I think. For, for Sears, now well, they turned out different. Now, never mind Sears, but now yeah. we have Whirlpool, we have other other manufacturers here. Yeah, I remember also those days they were asking three to six years experience at least to be able to join right. the team with mm -hmm. English or Whirlpool, mm -hmm. or Maytag, or you know LG, Fujigar, right. whoever. Today, yeah. they don't ask for experience. They right. want a physical physical body. Yeah, that got some knowledge. We teach you. That's what they say. We teach right. you. Right. But yeah. that's not as as easy as they think. Exactly. So whoever comes yep. with uh, we teach you mm -hmm. attitude, um, the person comes to work, and that person is actually worse than than anything else because it's true. They may know stuff yeah. here and there, but it requires uh, yeah. really lots of attention but I think for somebody to to yeah. teach something. Someone who's newer into the trade is able to be. Uh, more teachable than someone who's already worked in the trade for six, seven years and still needs to continue learning. Those people who've been in the industry for eight years as a technician, it's hard to get them to change the way that they service right. to match your company right. values and your right. company policies and then and then continue to train them, yeah. right? So having someone come from the institute directly, you can sort of mold them into your um, company's values and what you expect of them and they'll grow with you along that way and will also be more receptive to more training rather than someone who's already been in the field I for always eight say, plus years. I always say working yeah. in, a, in a team is always better and more valuable <laughs> than be on your own. 100%. Be on your Shared own. Shared knowledge. There's lots of uh, technicians out there on their own. Yeah. Um, yeah. They living, they making money here and there. Right. But they don't possess the knowledge that the exactly. team would possess together. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. They learn only what they learn, mm -hmm. and that's what they know. Yeah. Now, when you have a team of ten technicians, for example, like that's here, right. um, everybody experiencing different stuff. Yeah. Now we have a person working downtown Toronto. We have a person working in Brampton. We yeah. have a person working in Oakville, and these three technicians yeah. making 
diff- having different experiences. Exactly. For exactly. example, if I would send a technician from Brampton to work in, in downtown Toronto mm-hmm. and vice versa, the guy from downtown Toronto would send right. him to work, to work for Brampton, he hasn't seen appliances right. what's in Brampton because they're not downtown Toronto. I think they're a bit more, they're bigger appliances. Uh, they're bigger appliances because right. houses. Exactly. Then you have downtown yeah. condos, downtown condo. stock units, exactly. smaller units. So, so, That's right. so those appliances downtown Toronto. So mm-hmm. the person from Brampton would not, um, uh, would have difficulties in the beginning. It's true. That. It's true. Okay, because different quality, uh, different appliances, different uh, right. different sizes, different appliances. Exactly. exactly. Yep. So, so uh, now imagine just being yourself. I want technician, and you work true. say one area. You only yeah. learn that. Exactly. And if, you would, if you call to go to go different area, you don't know it, and there's no one to ask. It, right. There's no one to ask. Exactly. The shared knowledge is something that's important. Other than studying, looking somewhere mm-hmm. for information, or like I have, I have this guy here, Eddie, Eddie, um, at I forgot his business name, but yeah. he's already also died already. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. He, he used to come here all the time, and he was mm-hmm. saying to pick my brain. Of course. So he had some yeah. problems. Yeah. And um, Chris, can I pick your brain? Sure. He came and I, yeah. he was telling me about problems and I said, listen, do this, do that, do this, do that. A few Amazing. occasions. And one right. time, at one, at one time, he mm-hmm. showed up. He's in the picture there, in the fridge. Oh, right. Person, yeah. yeah. And uh, one time he brought me this whiskey from 1975. That they still <sighs> have whiskey. It. Oh, really? It's still Didn't have it. It's waiting. That's amazing. It's waiting. It's waiting, it's waiting for a for good for opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> it's waiting for the a good opportunity. Good, good opportunity, okay? <clears throat> right. Yeah, but uh, he was appreciative. He was older person. Uh, Absolutely. He was yep. trained uh, on these stoves and, uh, mm-hmm. uh, and fridges. He didn't do much of washers and dryers. Right. There's washers. But somebody called him, you know, and one time I was mm-hmm. on a call somewhere f- fixing an appliance. And mm-hmm. this person goes, oh, we used to have this guy. He used to come to our place. His name was Ed. But I called uh, the wife, wow. and the wife says he passed away. I said, he did, he did pass away. That's so, a way, that's a way so to find out. I actually, I found out oh uh, from a customer that they called wow. us finding after that. It's a small world, I would say, in appliance service. Appliance service is a small world. For sure. Yeah, so For sure. people know each other from mm-hmm. trainings, from manufacturers. Exactly. There is not many out yeah. there, but we working right. to get, to produce and to be the best technicians here exactly and to produce the best yep. technician best quality absolutely you know, uh, yeah. now recently we started to receive uh, surveys finally we fixed the issue oh right and now we're receiving surveys and i tell you mm-hmm. um, out of 10 services yeah only one came uh, uh, somewhat dissatisfied somewhat and the, the rest, rest of them very satisfied. That's amazing. You're at essentially that's, 90, 95 percent. It's an amazing exactly. service. Yeah. So yeah. ever since the email got fixed, right, we got this coming, and it's very good. Yeah. Thing, so. And I think that's the backbone of any servicing industry, and of course, appliance servicing and HVAC is is the customer surveys, right? And they come back not only to your company but to the manufacturers, and and every servicing company relies on customer surveys, and more so on the technicians who are, need to achieve those positive customer yeah, surveys. Yeah, and you know what? I right. was uh, the other time, the other day, I was uh, helping one of the technicians on the job. Yeah, was, uh, my customer was blaming that it, it wasn't his fault. It was his fault that he didn't actually right. diagnose it properly. Mm-hmm. I showed up there. There was a five minutes fix. Oh, it's amazing. But fifty-five minutes of customer service. Oh wow! So we spent yeah. time talking, explaining right. all this, and finally the customer understood. Yep. That wasn't a technician issue. Mm-hmm. She appreciated the fact that I showed up uh, with my experience right. in there. Right. Uh, and uh, she, she wasn't blaming him. In fact, she was t- saying that he was very, very nice employee. Wonderful. Uh, right. And that empathy which, really which is Which is way. good. Yeah. It's just, I said, look, it's not, it wasn't even his fault that what happened there because mm-hmm. your, 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 your element wasn't working at all. Right. Once he replaced uh, the switch, mm-hmm. that element was a, th- a three, three uh, um, a coil switch. Yep. So two were working, one wasn't. Right, because the coil was burned too. Right, right. And uh, she was upset because of that, but it happens all the time. Right? Exactly. But yeah. that's why I showed up there. We mm-hmm. talked, and she was customer was nice and calm. Yeah. She thanked us for servicing the appliances, and then and she says that and she's going to use again. And a good survey at the end, which is so important. And good survey at the end. Yes. That's really what it's all about yeah, at yeah. the end of the day, and that's what will make your your business successful, is having return customers, and in any business is to have good customer service. Yeah. 
keeping those loyal customers and, and giving them something to be uh, proud of. Really. And here it is again, yeah. the teamwork. If right. you are by yourself, then you have no one to back yeah. you up. You might not return uh, back to that home. Unless um, yeah. you call your um, uh, somebody else, different businesses. Exactly. And then right. uh, maybe they can help you for money. Exactly. Yeah, for a charge. Some, for a charge, yes, for because charge. they're not going to go there for free. Some manufacturers I heard charge when you call them for the tech line. Yes, uh, even now, even today. So they'll even charge the, the technician, they'll charge technician a fee to use that service tech line? Yeah, if you are not uh, authorized for that company, right. for that brand, then uh, mm -hmm. you can call and then ask your, to answer your phone. But they charge, I think, like thirty-five dollars or something That's for crazy. one incur incurment. Yeah, yeah. Or, uh, incurment. Yeah. Um, so that lasts for thirty days. Wow. The case lasts just for thirty case. days. Just yeah, in yeah. case, you know, go right. back there and fix it. If right. you don't, you can go back and you can still discuss this more and more. Right. Yeah. So yeah, they used to charge. Maytag used to charge that twenty-five dollars years ago, and I and I had paid oh, man. twenty-five dollars on my card to use that to tech get, line. Yes, to get use the tech line. It was the first yeah. one of the first. Uh, Electronic wash machines that came with the electronic control boards. Right. That's yeah. That's in like uh, I'd say ninety two, ninety three, something mm -hmm. like that. And uh, they had code, error code. No wow. idea what the error code is. A, a exactly. machine has an error code. One of the first ones. Had and come I out was E four right? error code. I remember E four error code that was standing for the board to be replaced. Right. <laughs> right. Going but, from mechanical to. Uh, yeah, that was the first time. That's why I had to call. And yep. then somehow, um, I think I bought it also from manufacturers, the book, yep. My, yep. The, the service manual, right. so I can read and I can learn about Well, that. that's the thing again, right? Taking the opportunity to invest in yourself, right? Even back then, you still have to, to call the tech line, you have to get the resources, and that's what it all comes back to, is really reinvesting in your own self, which is your own business, especially as a technician. Yeah, so you are your own business whether you work for a company or not. Yeah, even today, right. we, call, we, we do calls for manufacturers we're not authorized for. Right. I'm, uh, I'm going, calling them, and if I need the service manual, they're selling it. I'm buying it. For sure, for sure. I'm buying you it. You might come across that appliance again. And again, number one, yeah. number two technicians that we, that we have here, yeah. we, they, we need to know this. So service That's manual right. is important. There's diagrams, right. there's parts, there's uh, yeah. instructions, and right. all the tips and stuff. Exactly. And yes, I'm buying them. I have sure. already so many of them. For, mm -hmm. for the manufacturers that we're not authorized for yet. Right, precisely. Precisely. So that's what we do, and that's what yeah. you have to do. And some people know they don't want to buy. Yeah. They want to just uh, think they know how to fix, but then they make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Just like this, 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 uh, sh this show on, on YouTube about the, the guy who like ripped through, through, through the dryer fat. through the oh, back. Man. You know what? I wouldn't. Even, I don't know why he posted that on YouTube. He did. Why did he post it? Maybe he we just show everyone what not to do as a technician. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only <laughs> only reason I can no think of. No idea what happened. Yeah. That, that this is really terrible. That's right. One of my guys who found it. Yeah. He says, uh, "This is a show of the professional technician replacing a valve." That was the title. Yeah. <laughs> wrong title. <laughs> he got the views though, right? But wrong yeah, title. Yeah, yeah, he's got the views. Didn't so describe sure. it properly. Yeah. That's insane. But okay, so opportunity, right? Always invest in yourself, and that's the biggest takeaway from this conversation. There's a lot more into it. There's a lot more into it. We can talk and talk. Of we course. Can, we're of not going to go home tonight. You can talk about this. It's exactly. Tons of opportunity. What that's beautiful true. of the job, guys, is it's a nice, beautiful job yeah. working with the, uh, with outside people all the time. Right. Right. Interacting with different appliances. Yeah. It could be the same appliance, but different problem. That's right. So it's already a variety of jobs. So yeah. it makes your day colorful. Uh, right. It's never the same. Problematic day, that's for sure. issues. Exactly. Your day go by like this, and it's not yeah. people. Some people don't want to for the day to go by fast. They want to do, for the day to just stay in you know nine o'clock in the morning and that's it. Right. Or yeah. ten at night and not, yeah. Yeah. not go back to Monday or whatever. But um, mm -hmm. you know, when you work in a cup in a in a, man a manufacturer like a Pucker, for example, yeah, yeah. you look at the clock. What time? What, what time is it now? Oh, yeah. it was five to five to nine. It's, it's still five to nine. It's still five to nine an hour <laughs> later. <laughs> still five, five because to it's the same monotonous what? work. You're doing the same thing over and over again for and eight here, hours. Right here, you chasing time. Every day is different. You chasing yeah. time. It's you, true. Oh, it's already nine o'clock. Oh, That's right. And then, oh, it's ten o'clock already. You're supposed yeah. to be there at ten thirty. Like. Exactly. You know, the time, you're chasing yeah. the time. That's or the exactly. time chasing you back. I mean, it's like. It, it's, it's, it's fulfilling, it, it's achieving. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have such a fulfilling, fulfilling day every day. At the end of the day, yeah. you come home, 
yes, you may be tired, but you have money in your pocket. Very and true. And it's guaranteed. Very I'll true. I live off of it. Exactly. For the time I'm being, living in Canada here. Yeah. And I think everybody mm -hmm. can also live off of it. The person That's who it. was, uh, the person who was uh, passing on that half the business to me, right. he told me, Chris, it's a very good business. You're never Absolutely. going to regret that you had invested in this business. That's amazing. I mean, look where you are now. And your you Toronto client service, the, the 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 institute, which is national wide. And I don't regret anything that I yeah. have invested yeah. to purchase just a telephone number. That's right. Nothing else. I mean, even the name Toronto Client Service well, is still well, amazing. The, of course, me. the name was the purchase. Exactly. But that name came only with a telephone. telephone. Oh, telephone I see what number. you mean. With telephone number on nothing else. There yeah. was no warehouse. There was no desks. Yeah. There was no storage. There was right. no parts. There yeah. was nothing. I'll have to tell you, we had, even just this week, we have one individual who's coming from Winnipeg, come here for training September to December, already registered, which is fantastic. And we have another individual coming from St. John's, Newfoundland. Super. Which is, I mean, still unbelievable. We are, we were always knew we were the national trainers for applying service technicians, but to see the word get out there, to see people coming from different provinces, in just that short two and a half years, it, it's really amazing what we're doing for the industry. So, so that's, right. that's that's a very good and, and, and very nice. Uh, yeah. But I tell you, we what we hold in our possession, yeah. we hold a great experience in exactly. the finance industry. Exactly. Because I can bring this in mm -hmm. and I can uh, show it to people. That's right. That experience, it's 32 yeah. years, that's not one year, that's not yeah. two, it's yeah. 32 years. Yeah. And, and I'm not saying the big number is 32 years, some people, oh, yeah, 32 years, and he still doesn't know what to do. It's not, it's not the point. Right. Um, a, a person can know stuff after a few mm -hmm. years already. But then exactly. the, the 32 years is the yeah. time that you've actually seen all the appliances. Well, it's also your background, the refrigeration, the air conditioning, yeah. the electrical engineering, the Different. domestic Different. commercial appliances. Yeah. When you, you were a guest instructor yesterday at the class, yeah. and the students, they couldn't get enough of you. They asked you to come back again and teach us more and bring in more experiences from the field and it's really you hold so much knowledge if, if you could just be a full-time professor we'd hire you immediately yeah but you have a business to run and it's just that's the nature of it and unfortunately i have to <laughs> right deny all your, your proposition <laughs> to be a full-time professor yeah. but once you retire one you're going to be our head head professor at the appliance one day, one uh, day. that's what the school will actually hold Hold sure. all this knowledge. Oh, yeah. That's why the school will be good. That's right. Because yeah. of the knowledge, because of somebody who knows exactly. that somebody can then pass it on to a teacher or somebody. Right. Like, for example, me. And then uh, we can teach these young people to become technicians. Great Show technicians. Them, tell them. Exactly. You know, uh, yeah, take them away from being a bad technician, right. just like this happened before. Mm -hmm. It's still happening today, anyway. Yeah. And to become a good technician. And, and I'm going to come back to the surveys. I yeah. think the surveys that come in this way right now is mm -hmm. because of, of how these guys were trained in school. 100%. You know? I, would, I would hope so and I think so. Because they, they don't know yeah. yet uh, so many different things. Right. They call in, I talk to them mm -hmm. step by step, mm -hmm. but the customer sees that the person who's in the house tries right. their best to fix the appliance. The confidence. Even with uh, right. you know, a phone call to a tech support. Mm -hmm. But that's what we're for. That's exactly. what we're for. The manufacturers exactly. have the tech supports. Right. Everybody's got tech supports. We have yeah. in-house tech support that's that right. can uh, you know, help our technician to become a yeah. good technician. And that's I think right. the customer is seeing it, and that's what we have. What we have. And uh, to that note, I think um, we'll yeah. end it there because we can go on forever, yeah, but right. to opportunity. and. Uh, well, many more episodes Thank to go. Thank you for conversation. And then, guys, uh, I'll see you later. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. And we think crazy what I'm about to say.